The scenic pass of 4.16 kilometers descends through the attractive Dipkloof, a hidden kloof in the Swartberg and Skimmelberg mountains, a few kilometers due west of the N7 and the Olifants River Valley, approximately halfway between Citrustal and Clan William. The pass has some very steep gradients of 1 in 5, but these only last for short distances and will not present many problems for normal cars. The road does have some very sharp corners though, where caution needs to be exercised. This is a connecting farm road with low traffic volumes and offers a sublime drive for the less hurried traveller who enjoys gravel road driving. The best time to visit is June through to October. Initially, the road follows the contours of the Skimmelberg to the north via a wide S-bend and descends steadily at a fairly stiff gradient of 1 in 7. To the south are fields of crops belonging to the farm Dipkloof, which appears at the end of the S-bend on the northern side of the road at the 1.18 km mark. The pass is named after this farm. After the farm, the road changes direction more into the east and follows the contour of the much bigger Swartberg mountain, which is in no way connected with the other Swartberg mountain in the southern cape. This next section of 1,3 kilometers is mostly level, but there are several very sharp corners of which two are dangerously blind. Be prepared for oncoming traffic and keep as far left as possible. Remember that local farmers who use these gravel roads on a daily basis tend to drive them fairly fast. A short climb leads to a false summit of 478 meters, which is followed by a very steep drop with a gradient of 1 in 5, which rapidly eases off to 1 in 30 as the road bends gently into the north by an easy 90 degree bend. A small river cuts through the kloof on the right, which is called Grootkloof. This stream forms a confluence with the Harvachskloof River a little further, which in turn forms a confluence with the Olifants River. At the 3 km mark, there's a very sharp right hand bend of 100 degrees as the road attempts to hold its altitude through a transverse ravine. Take this one at 20 km per hour. After the sharp right hander, the road again follows the contour of the mountain on the left and begins the final climb at a gradient of 1 in 14 to the second false summit of 447 meters before descending at a gradient of 1 in 20 through a lovely kloof towards the end of the pass. Ahead the road becomes tarred and this point also marks the end of the pass. To get back to the N7, turn right here via the Harvachskloof Pass. Mm -hmm.